Welcome back. In this video, we're going to solve work rate problems. And we will use charts to help us out. But first, we need to talk a little bit about work rate. What is work rate? Well, work rate is how efficiently somebody completes a job, or how fast or slow they do it. Okay? Work rate is essentially the portion of a job completed in a unit of time. And this is usually, usually per hour. So we will always express work rate as a fraction. For example, if a work rate is 1 12th, think here a couple different things. You can think, if a work rate is 1 12th, you can think it takes 12 hours to complete one job. Or you can think that if a work rate is 1 12th, they finish 1 12th of the job per hour or per unit of time, whatever that is. So the formula, like rate times time equals distance, is work rate, how fast or slow somebody works, so this fraction, the work rate, times the quantity of time working, or the amount of time working at that rate, equals how much work they get done. So like we've done with charts before, we're going to multiply across. So we'll multiply the work rate times the amount of time working, or the quantity of time, and that will equal the amount of work done. And we will probably just write that uh, in this table or in this cell here. So we have a column of rates of times and work done, and then we'll probably have some subjects or, you know, person A and person B or a a printing press or a pump or something will go in these spots here. And then this will be, you know, this first cell will be the work rate of person one and the work rate of person two and the amount of time they work. Okay? And we'll use some tables here in just a minute. And this is important. If the work rate is unknown, if we don't know how efficiently somebody works, we're going to express that as the fraction 1 divided by x. We don't know how many hours it takes them to complete one job, or we don't know, you know what fraction of a job they get done uh, in an hour. So let's start off with the first question. Teresa can paint a room in four hours. Since her work rate is part of the job she can complete in one hour, what is her work rate? Well, her work rate is 1 fourth. So we can look at this as 4 hours to complete one job. Or we can look at this as she completes 1 fourth of the job per hour. So either way, that's how we can talk about this fraction, one-fourth. So let's do a sample problem. One printing press can finish a job in eight hours. Well, we know what the work rate of this first printing press is. Okay? The work rate of press one is one eighth. They can finish the whole job in eight hours, so it takes eight hours to complete one job or one eighth of the job done. The amount of time working, well let's take a look. The same job would take a second press 12 hours, so press number two, its work rate is one twelfth. How long will it take to complete the one job with both presses working together? So this is both presses working the same amount of time. We don't know how much time, but the same amount of time. So they are both working X. So the work done of press 1, now these are fractions, so we only multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So the work done of the first press is x over 8, and the work done of the second press is x over 12. 
So this is the amount of work press 1 does. This is the amount of work press 2 does. Okay. Now press 1 obviously is working faster. He's going to get more of the entire job done than press 2, two will. But working together, that one's still going to help him out. It's kind of like shoveling your driveway. You may work faster than your little sister, like press 1 does, and your little sister is like press 2. She works a little slower, but she still gets something done. You know, we have a snow-covered driveway. You know, your little sister might do a portion of it when you do the rest, and both of you together will finish one job. And that's what I'm getting at. The amount of work done between press 1 and press 2 is one job. So what we do in our tables, of course, is we add down. The total job done is the one job. So the work done of press 1 plus the work that gets done of press 2 equals one job done or one completed job. So we want to solve this. So what we want to do here, we want to solve this equation. So our common denominator is 24. Now, we don't want to make this, you know, 3x over 24 and 2x over 24. We want the denominator to simplify and become 1. So when we multiply by our common denominator, multiply every term by the common denominator, we get 24x divided by 8, which simply becomes... 3x, 24 over 8, simplifies to 3. And 24 times x over 12 becomes 2x. And, of course, if we multiply one side by 24, we have to multiply the other side by 24. So that equals 24. So now our denominator is canceled. It has become 1. We can do that when we have an equation. We multiply that by the common denominator, so the denominators cancel. That's why we chose the common denominator. And now we simplify. 5x equals 24. Divide both sides by 5. Excuse me. Divide both sides by 5. We get x equals 24 fifths. And 24 fifths, we know that's 4 and 4 fifths. Okay? But we want to know how long it will take. We don't talk about four-fifths of an hour. Hopefully no, we know that one-fifth of an hour equals 12 minutes. Okay? So four and four-fifths hours is four hours and 48 minutes. And that is our final answer. Four hours and 48 minutes. Let's go to sample number two. An installer can carpet a room in three hours. An assistant takes four and a half hours to complete the same job. If the assistant helps for one hour and then is called away, how long will it take the installer to finish? Well, I'll help you set this one up, but I'm going to ask you to finish it. But there are some, uh, some kind of sneaky parts of this particular problem. So our work rate times the amount of time working equals our work done. So we have an installer and we have his trusty assistant. And the work rate of the installer is one-third. And the assistant takes four and a half hours to do the same job. So the assistant's work rate is one over four and a half. Well that's the same as one over nine halves. Well, one over nine halves, I don't want this complex fraction here, so that's the same as one divided by nine halves, which is one times two ninths. So the assistant's work rate is two ninths. And if you think about it, that makes sense. Didn't we say it takes him four and a half hours to complete one job. Well, if you go back to what we talked about earlier, if it takes four and a half hours to complete one job, doesn't it take nine hours 
to complete two jobs. Good night, kiddo. Good night, kiddo. So, nine hours to complete two jobs is the same work rate as four and a half hours to complete one job. Now, the assistant is going to help for an hour and then is called away. So, the assistant works for one hour on this particular job. The installer is working for one hour as well, but he keeps working. So, we don't know how much longer he keeps working, so that's one plus X. So, the work done for the installer, the work rate times the amount of time, is X plus one. And the work done for the assistant is just two ninths. Two ninths times one. So, what we have here is one-third times the quantity X plus one, the work done for the installer, plus the amount of work done for the assistant equals the one job done. So, now I've got this set up for you. Looks like we have a common denominator of nine, and I will leave the rest of the algebra and the solving of this problem for you to finish and bring that to class. Make sure you answer the question, how long will it take the installer to finish? So, there's our introduction to work rate. I expect you to finish this, and I'll check it tomorrow when I see you in class.